We got a 63 gram slice of Abba Panu. Uh, it's a confirmed fall that fell in 2018 in Nigeria. The mass is approximately 160 kilograms. It's an L3. Um, some pieces, not this particular piece, but some pieces show duolithology. Some pieces also have, I believe, um, L6 class in them. And even though it's um, classified as an L3, if you dig deeper into it, when they did the um, oxygen isotope data, uh, it said the estimated petrologic type is a 3.6. And it was classified by Lawrence Garvey of AFU. Great job, Jules. A beautiful <laughs> slice as um, it, I think that slice may have a little bit of crust, but I don't know, I can't really see it. It said it had some re remnant fusion crust that was in, in the shallow regum glyphs, but I'm not seeing it there. You probably see it on an end piece or whole individual. I, yeah, most Abba Panus don't show fusion crust, do they? Yeah, the, for some reason, these spalled off their crust. Well, thank you very much, Jules. Appreciate it. Beautiful slice. This one shows a lot of metal in it, doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, the, I believe there's um a lot of uh, several uh, armored chondrals and some silicate armoring maybe a little bit yeah this is a really pretty slice i think that polished slice uh, the polished side and the unpolished side both are beautiful and it's even right. better under the microscope oh i'm sure there's just so many chondrules in there <laughs> all right thank you jules um did you want to um, just jump into your comp the compo as well sure Alrighty, we have a little over a kilo and a half of Campo, uh, now I'm not going to be able to say it, <laughs> Campo de Cello, oh gosh. Cello de Cello. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad that I can't speak now. Um, it's an iron, it's a IAB main group. I believe it's a, hex a hexahedrite, which would also have Newman lines in it because it's a hex hexahedrite. Right. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's not an observed fall, but it was found in 1576 in Argentina. The total weight is 50 tons. It shows this piece doesn't, but it does have an awesome women satin pattern when it's etched. And on the outside there, you have a few regmaglyphs, maybe. Mm -hmm. And if I'm wrong, somebody else can jump in and say, and boy, that's nice and melty. And I don't yeah. see any crust. That's a cool piece. On it, unless there's some that is, you know, in the regmaglyphs there, maybe. I think it stands up a few different ways. Could be a bat. I guess I'm not very good at explaining things. Um, no, it, you're doing great. <laughs> it's it's beautiful and melty. I I love it. Uh, I love irons, and they're super awesome. Full and super awesome cut and etched. Compo is like one of those and, meteorites that everybody likes to get. Like it's one of their always one of their first meteorites. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's decently priced, um, typically, and which makes it more affordable for a newer collector and uh, even a collector who's been collecting for more years it i mean it's a, it's a good piece to have in your collection as a, rep, a representative piece nicely sculpted it is i'm sure someone has an idea of what it resembles i just don't at this moment <laughs> it's definitely a hunky chunky piece it's beautiful it is. 
Um, I realize I'm not very good at this. Sorry. No, you want, no, you're great. You're doing better than uh, I would. <laughs> you really did a good job. I didn't want yeah. to interrupt you a lot, but yeah, you really did a good job, Jules. All right. Um, I think Ken wants to go next. Good right. job, girls. Way to go, girls. 